let's begin. We do have Page of Swords and Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This might be about communication information. Somebody might be in that uh, mood of, I, I, I don't feel all lovey-dovey, right? They might be at a distance too. Knight of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles, they might not be putting the effort that you want them to put in this connection. They might not be like focusing on that. Knight of Cups, Strength. Leo energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. They might feel a little bit frustrated. This is the energy of them giving in to some, um, you know, um, energies that we usually we want to keep under control. Knight of Cups, Four of Swords, in need for rest and rejuvenation, thinking, planning, strategizing, staying silent, maybe. We'll see. So let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. And again, you know how time is fluid. Three of Cups. Four of Cups in reverse. Somebody was not paying attention. Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And they might want reconciliation here, Capricorn. Three of Cups. Four of Cups and the Knight of Swords. What they are not telling you is that they want to be happy. And um, reconciling or having easy breezy energies. Um... Moving on, that is an energy of moving on with the Four of Cups. I accept I was not paying attention, right? I accept I was not paying attention. So Capricorn, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome for the first week of July. Oh, you get three, okay. You have a lot to coming your way. That's fine. And we do have the moon. That is an energy of Pisces here, but can be Pisces, Cancer, um, uh, a Pisces, but can be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. We have the Queen of Wands. If it comes back again, we know it's yours. But um, Capricorn, that is somebody here. It can be you. It can be the person you are dealing with. And um, probably there was a moment of silence between the two of you. Things were not said, were not shared. And both of you, you might have felt depressed with the moon, right? This is the dark night of the soul. But we are coming out of it and we have a sense of happiness and accomplishment. A sense of we can be friends. Even if there was an opportunity, there was a missed opportunity for love. Or there was love and then there was, there was focus on the connection and then there wasn't. We still can be happy and friends with the Three of Cups, right? Um, so Capricorn, what happened? They made you happy in the past. Nine of Cups, they were your wish fulfillment, right? This is the energy of I only want one thing and this is what I want, right? Um, this is the energy of they were the one, you know, um, the sunshine, the happiness. Uh, the pleasure and um, and uh, the emotional fulfillment. And then the seven of uh, pentacles in reverse. What happened, right? We became impatient. We might have uh, been focusing on uh, money, stability, harvest. We were way too much paying attention on this. And, um, but still, right? Still, they made you happy. There's a sense of uh, party and celebrations that... Um, um, that happened. Now this person of yours, Capricorn, Four of Swords in Reverse and the Eight of Swords in Reverse, they might have released this connection probably for a while now. Um, they felt um, like in a mental prison. Uh, Four of Swords is the energy of stagnation. Eight of Swords is the energy of seeing obstacles and being blindfolded and a little bit confused. And um, because we have all those energies, that is this need of release, right? When we look at this, that is this energy of, you know, I'm done with the silences. I'm done with not talking to each other or not saying the truth that we want to hear. Um, I'm done being bound to some to something. You know, when you want expansion and you feel that you can have way more and you can, um, you know, accomplish much more. And yet that is like the walls of the house, um, you know, um, kind of preventing you from breathing. This is a little bit how it felt. Like they were ready for expansion. They were ready for ascension. Ready for releasing whatever was um, keeping them hostage. Because that's the energy of the Eight of Swords. And might have been the mind actually. Um, you know, keeping them a little bit... Um, 
I don't want to say out of touch, but definitely not in a comfortable, right? Not in a comfortable um, energy there. Now, mutual energies between the two of you might have been a divorce somewhere. Capricorn, we do have the justice or a sense of unfairness in the family, a sense of we are not bringing the same things to the table. We are not bringing the same energy with the justice. Some some injustice, some injustice might have happened. They might have behaved in, in this energy of releasing. They might have hurt you. Um, and probably this was the energy you were bringing to the table. Nonetheless, Ten of Cups, right? The energy is a family, kids, community. Um, the energy of we have we have to find a way, right? We have to find a way to be happy. Um, might be this energy where um, Capricorn, we might have closed our eyes uh, to a situation um, in the past because at some point I am going to get my pay, right? That's the Seven of Pentacles. At some point I am going to, um, you know, have my harvest. At some point I'm going to, um, you know, to have the um, the payment of some sort. Anyways, um, and patient. You, there is this energy on your side of being patient till there was no more patience, right? So where are we right now? Again, this energy of the lovers in reverse and the seven of pentacles in reverse again. Um, probably we are disconnecting emotionally. Uh, we are making choices. Seven of pentacles is a very uh, material or materialistic kind of energy, right? It's about harvest. It's about being patient till we reap the rewards. So I believe right now um, Capricorn is quite a struggle, right? Between the mind and uh, the practicality that you have, right? It has to be concrete. It has to be um, productive. It, ha it has to be, right? We need to have results. If not, we did nothing. And I don't know if you are disconnecting, right? Or making the choice to disconnect, right? From them. And take your distances and saying, you know what? Um, yeah. Now this person of yours, they have the Hierophant, Taurus energy, uh, and the Tower in reverse, so they are avoiding disasters. If this is about a marriage, just as the Tower and the Hierophant, I believe we are in a separation about to divorce because the Hierophant is upright, we might not yet have the papers, we might have um, or not, but they are tiptoeing, right? They are making sure that, you know, we can have this... Um, a polite energy or um, an energy of um, yeah we can you know we have to do what's right we have to do what's right we have to abide by the rules um, and um, make sure we are not making a mess um, it's interesting I'm, I'm hearing this energy of smooth sailing because they've released that in the past there, there was a sense of longing for freedom but now kind of, um, you know, there is this energy of um, judgment kicking in and saying, you know, let's make sure the damages are not all over the place and we can uh, we can have this smooth sailing. That's what I'm hearing. Mutual energies between the two of you. Again, silence and maybe somebody is not speaking the truth. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius and the death Scorpio energy. Both in reverse, both energies of unfinished business poor communication, secret exchanges, unlimited exchanges, unfairness in some way. So uh, right now you are not in a good spot, but guess what? They are not in a good spot um, just as much, you know. Um, I don't, I'm, there is a sense of being cautious. Um, Capricorn, I don't know who is cautious. I, I'm, of course, twice the seven of pentacles, I tend to believe that you might be. Um, and you might uh, p be planning something, you are not quite there yet, but you, you plan on something and in the process you heal your heart and you disconnect from um, a connection that, um, you know, this person of yours decided to let go of. And maybe because of it, right, we enter some dynamic where communication is not good because we preserve ourselves and we are trying to, to have the harvest because you have a strong energy of um, concerns for your stability. Are you going to reap the rewards, right? Um, so I don't know if you expect alimony and that kind of energy, you know, um, really doing stuff and, um, and, and being there, right? Um, 
in order to have the stability that you deserve after whatever dissolution of the marriage um, here that is a strong energy on your side on their side there's more of let's not make a mess it's going to be a mess but let's not make it uh, you know bigger than um, than it should be moving forward we do have the judgment nine of wands and the five of swords it is over right the judgment is again the decision justice judgment tower and the hierophant pretty much is a divorce here that will be over soon five of swords in reverse july august probably for some of you because we are putting the hatchet down we are putting the swords down we might be in self-protective mode making sure we are not hurt making sure we are in control uh, being cautious, being preventive to some extent and using your better judgment and discernment. Uh, looks like the struggle is over, honestly. The judgment is such a releasing energy of, um, okay, it was done, it's over, and now it's the turning point where we finally can focus on something else. Now this person of yours, they have the Emperor and the Ten of Pentacles. They might be focusing on money, career, might be an Aries in your in their life. Maybe this is an Aries in your life. And with the Ten of Pentacles, this is, again, the energy of family stability, building a legacy and becoming abundant. So they are focusing, actually, even the Emperor is an energy of abundance. If you are dealing with an Aries, um, absolutely, they are focusing on this. You, if it's uh, this person of yours is not an Aries, they might be focusing on um, getting... Um, really what they deserve and becoming like bigger than life kind of and that is a sense of fighting and that is a sense of reward uh, because the emperor right he already um i mean he grew from the page to the knight to the king and now he's in control of everything else um i know so that is that they long for stability just like you in a way right and um, Capricorn, yes, we are healing the pain here. It will be over and we are healing the pain. Three of Swords in reverse, uh, by the way, both of you, fully hurt. Um, and the Ace of Swords, of course, cannot be a communication because we are, we are healing through distance. We are healing through not talking to each other. We are healing fr from this situation by um, staying a little bit in isolation kind of in a hermit mode, Ace of Swords, right? We, we don't look at the future, but we look within. You do, they do. And um, that's this energy, the overall energy. I hope we can stay friends. That's the energy I'm picking up. It has been a hustle. Communication, again, I'm not sure is good. That is this sense of fighting and an unfair kind of fighting, you know? Um, kind of a manipulative kind of energy, and we fight in a way, but... Um, I love the Three of Cups because, again, we can be friendly about, right? We can, we can go by it in a friendly way. And um, Capricorn, in all honesty, I'm not seeing Ace of Cups, Two of Cups. You know how it goes, right? So um, I'm sensing that actually we need to look to the future here. Uh, uh, that is a strong message for somebody here. Um, that we sh should get impatient of, of disconnecting, closing the chapter and just, um, you know, uh, moving on with our life a little bit here. Um, they long for stability and expansion and on your side, and of course, this can be very well your energy. Please feel free to, to swap the energies here. But on one side, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing somebody being cautious and saying, you know what, um, this, this will be over. This is probably over. So it better be in a fair way, um, just way, because I have my future to address. I have my life, Ten of Pentacles and the Emperor. I want to take control and expand and, um, and they can work on themselves. Maybe they want to make more money, or but there is this energy of expansion. And on your side, feel that we are, um, and that's all right. It's part of the process, right, of, um, of um, ending a situation and disconnecting slowly. Um, emotionally from this person um, solving issues and and um, and fights and conflicts and finding a solution and a middle ground kind of um, with a middle ground kind of approach um, yeah three of swords for both of you right whatever is over in July 
um, Capricorn July can can be July can be August um, you know we have a lot of seven can be July um, hurt both of you right and they are not talking about the hurt they felt and I'm not sure you're um, very open to um, to the hurt that, that you got from this now let's ask for guidance let's see what we need to do here um, Capricorn so love is all around you that is love everywhere all the time simply acknowledge this as truth so I don't know if you need validation maybe I'll never get love maybe I'll never fall in love again this was so tough that I'm never gonna allow somebody in my life the universe is kind of acknowledging love is all around you the only thing that is real is love shift your focus back to love yeah well if we want to prevent obsessions right and it's um better to stay open and and remember that actually love is supposed to be a good thing and a very nurturing thing and um emotion it's not a thing it's an emotion hey demonstrate love Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. So if you have kids, if you have family, if they have family, maybe you need to demonstrate love to this person uh, through whatever legal proceedings. We have big energies of judgment, justice, hierophant and power. So we might uh, need to come from a place of love and, um, and compromise from a higher self. So Capricorn, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So it's okay to open your heart, right? It's okay. We do have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Oh yeah, you had a strong bond with this person. And then we have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. It is safe for you to love soulmate and trust. I'm kind of sensing that um, love is coming your way and if you trust and if you open up right you will meet your soulmate can very well be right let's see the energy is coming your way or the energies you need to get back into the flow and we do have surrender your need to always be right capricorn Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationship. We do have kindness, right? You are a humanitarian made of love and you are able to share the energy with others. So we need to bring kindness back into the flow and that's all right to let them win a couple of times. Intuition, surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. We do have perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. And bottom of the deck, we do have failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. I believe all this was somehow managed in a way, right, with a justice, judgment. The tower might have been a situation, right, and actually that is a lesson in it and that is an opportunity in it. And Capricorn Perseverance, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. That is a new beginning here. That is something ending. I know you are, it, it feels... This reading feels like you are in the swirl of it, I believe that's the expression, right? Or the swing of it, the swing of it, you know? Um, and it's um, kind of the eye, the eye of, the, of the storm, but it will be over soon. It will be over soon. And uh, you'll, you'll be able to be friends again. That's a three of cups. You'll be able to be friends again in this. So um, Capricorn. This is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.